Hi crocheters of the world, as promised, I'm back with the beret. Now it's a um, French beret, which means is that shape that <laughs> actually I adore and uh, you will see how it is worked. Uh, you have the written instruction also. Uh, you can actually it's better if you have the written instruction with you while working the beret Ooh, it's not difficult you will need to know the short rows even if you you don't know the short rows in Tunisian crochet I show you in this tutorial and actually there is another tutorial where I actually explain only and only the short rows, how to work them on one side and how to work them on the other side. So that's it. It is not difficult. I want to underline this because maybe you will be in panic when you will see the short rows, but please don't. You, you don't have to. Mm, it's really nice to, I don't know, um, try something new maybe, yes, to learn something new. So if you haven't uh, ever worked with short rows in Tunisian crochet or with short rows in, uh, in crochet or I don't know, you don't know how to work them, maybe this is uh, the time, maybe th this is the right moment. So again, it is not difficult, just give it a try and you will have a matching set really really lovely. I let it to the So tutorial. to work this beret it's not difficult, uh, it's only Tunisian uh, simple uh, stitch and Tunisian um, pearl stitch, it's really easy and it is just lovely, it's let's say a, uh, a classic beret, the French beret. We will work it with short rows. Don't worry, I already have the video, so I already did the video of the short rows in Tunisian crochet. I will leave the link into the eye, the, the eye into the right side corner of the screen. If you are watching from a cell or smartphone or tablet, just touch the screen and you will have, you will, uh, it appear the will appear the eye uh, touch it and you will have all the um, tutorials that you will need so this one of the short rows now there will be uh, triangles and if you understand the first triangle then the rest are exactly the same you have the written instruction on my blog here it is you have it on my blog. It is written uh, row by row for one triangle and then you will just have to repeat 13 times this triangle for 14 triangles. Okay, and then we will just um, sew at the end the first and the last triangle to join and that's all. Now we will begin by working short, uh, short rows only on one side and then we will work on the other side too. So we need 39 chains. I am working with 5 millimeters hook exactly the same yarn. It's a sport yarn um, or fingering yarn. It's uh, a yarn to be used with 2.5 to 3 millimeters hook, normal hook, and I am using 5 millimeters hook. And I have 39 chains and I want to work my foundation row by pulling up loop. So the first loop you already have it on the hook and I will insert hook into the bump part on the wrong side here, so bump loop. And this is the loop that I will work in. I will pull up in, okay, so insert hook and pull up a loop and it's here that I will insert my hook maybe a little bit too tight, I worked my chain and I just go on like this, so on the wrong side, this is the 
right side of my chain and this is the wrong side on of my chain and it's here that I am just going on and work uh, pull up loops my 38 loops because as I said the very first one we already have it on the hook so we have 39 at the at the end of this now always this part it's maybe a little bit more it takes two more two time a little bit but it's very important because this part will be so so that's why we want to have a nice border because we will sew it with the mattress stitch to finish the berry okay and just continue on pulling up loops I am working without a cable just for the sake of the video because it's the taping tapping you know that I really don't want to hear and I'm sure you don't want to hear so uh, I am trying to work without or I don't know I'm trying if I can it's just perfect okay so it's here okay I have all my stitches on the hook 39 loops actually we know that for the Tunisian crochet we need to go forward and backward so we need two steps to finish a row a Tunisian crochet row this is the first step for the second step we will work the loops like this yarn over and we always pull through one loop at the so for the first stitch now uh, we always have one loop on the hook when we finish all the loops we remain with one loop always remain with one loop and this loop I will call it the working loop okay and the rest of the stitches are the stitches for the pattern which means when we uh, in other videos you you see you hear they say pull through two this means yarn over pull through the working loop to form the horizontal chain and through a loop of a stitch actually of the stitches that we need to work and as you can see a Tunisian crochet um, stitch is composed by chain horizontal chain and the vertical bar again yarn over pull through chain so put working loop and one more loop stitch actually okay to form the chain and the vertical bar so yarn over pull through two this is the meaning of the pull through two okay it's very important to make the difference between the working loop and the stitches that we work okay so that's why we yarn over pull through two and as you can see we have the chain here and the vertical bars okay I will just continue on like this and from the second row we will uh, get into the pattern actually and we will have nine rows to repeat okay nine rows so let me just finish this pull through two pull through two to the end and at the end we will remain again always with the working loop on the hook pull through last two and we have the working loop okay and we have now if you count the vertical bars and the chains there are 39 so which means this is a plus this is a this is the working loop okay I will call it like this okay now for the second uh, row it says the pattern says uh, pull up 36 loops on the hook leave three loops on work which means we will pull up 36 and the last three there will be uh, left there on work so insert hook around the vertical bar and pull up a loop and this is the Tunisian simple stitch so I will go on and pull up through 36 if you don't want to count you just stop before uh, when you have three more loops at the end so I will continue on working all the stitches and I will stop 
when three more loops I have. So the three, uh, three more, sorry, three more vertical bar, bars. Okay, so we leave them. So, so let this me is the just short. show you. I work 36 and I have three more loops, uh, three more stitches, sorry. So I will leave them there. And now I will go back to finish the second row, yarn over pull through one again and yarn over pull through two. So working loop and stitch, working loop and stitch, working loop and stitch, yarn over pull through two. This is pull through two. It's very important for you to understand this. Okay, and I will go back and like this I will finish my second row, which is the first row of the repeating sequence. Now I have 36 loops, uh, 36, sorry, uh, vertical bars, so stitches, and now I will begin my third, I switch to this one, so I can just show you better. Um, I will work only 33. So always leave three loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, oops, only one. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and I need three more, 29, 30, and now I need 31, 32, and 33, and I leave three loops on the hook, okay? So now I can just show you all that I have. Okay. Yarn over pull through one and go on, pull through two to the end. Oops, this was three. Okay. And this is the third row of our pattern. And the second row, so only through two, okay? So just be sure that you pull through two because when we pull through three so we close two stitches together we just work decreases and we don't actually want to okay and now we are working short rows only on one side okay only on the left side of our row okay this was the third row it's curling and this is normally and we leave three we leave three and now let's go to the row number four and we will pull up 30 loops and we will leave three so we kind of repeat okay so 30 loops and leave the last three now do it yourself I will do it by myself I finished my fourth row too so it's one two three four and I uh, uh, pull up 30 loops and I have here left one, two, three. So as you can see, there are three in each of our uh, three rows because the first one was the uh, foundation. So from the second, two, three and four, our three rows of short rows, actually, we will leave, we actually left here outside onward three uh, stitches okay from the fifth row we will begin uh, by working short rows on the other side so on here too and we will work like this when we go forward we will sh work the short row on this side when we go backward we will work the short row on this side so let's see now uh, it well, it is written here, pull up 
in fifth row, uh, the row number five, sorry. So pull up 27 loops on the hook and leave three loops onward. And I will just go on and do the same. One, two, do this. One, two, three, four. I switch to, again, to this um, Tunisian crochet because it's, it's better. I am... Uh, I used to use this, so two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. You don't need to count, you just go on and work till three more stitches you have and leave them unworked. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so this is what we have. Now when we turn back, we will pull through two until three more loops we have on the hook and we will leave them on the hook live. Okay, so yarn over pull through one and now yarn over pull through two, pull through two, pull through two and just continue on like this. Pull through two, pull through two until three more loops. What is the meaning of these three more loops? We don't count in them the working loop. So these three, okay? Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And we have just one more to work. Yarn over, pull through two. And actually on the hook you have four, but we know that this is the working loop and these three are the stitches of our pattern. So we are talking about this three. Okay, so I leave three on the hook and now, and now, I will go for the row number six. So now I have 23 actually loops, okay? I leave three here and three here. Okay, uh, 23. And uh, the row number six says, count with the loop, with the working yarn, pull, pull up 21 loops. So 21 loops, which means we will, this is the first loop, always count the first loop, so the working loop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 20, 21, sorry. Twenty, sorry, and twenty-one. Yes, okay. So I have one, two, three. I leave again three loops on the hook. Now I will go back. I will go back, and I will leave three more loops unworked. So I have these three. I will leave three more. So yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. It's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So don't count this. We need one, two, three. Sixteen, sorry, sixteen, seventeen, and the last eighteen. And I have, we don't consider this, I have three more loops left unworked. There are live here, okay? So now I have six actually, but three, four from this row. And this was row number six. Let's go with row number seven. Work 15 uh, stitches. The first one, we have it here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And I have three stitches left. Now I will go back and work twelve stitches. So yarn over, pull through one. This is the first, then pull through two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I have three more loops to leave out. Okay, so I have three, three, and three. Okay, this was row number six. Now let's go with row number seven. Uh, sorry, row number eight. This was row number seven. Let's go with row number eight. We will go on and work nine uh, pull up. Sorry, nine loops. So the first one we have it here. Insert hook and work the second one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we leave two. Uh, three loops onward. Now we will go back. We will go back. And work six stitches. Yarn over pull through one and this is the first. Yarn over pull through two and this is the second one. Three, four, five, and six stitches. So we will leave three more here too. So we have three, 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 and three. So we have 12 now here. Now go on and work two, uh, sorry, three stitches. The first we have it for the row number nine, sorry. So the first we have it on the hook one two and three and we leave three loops unworked so now when we work we will work all back so yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and we ha have our three. Now we will go on and work the 12 remaining loops here. We yarn over pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. When you uh, join these two, just join them very nice and tight. One, two, three and again. One, two, three and again. One, two, and three. Okay, that's it. Here we just worked all. We just closed all the short rows. Now we need to close them all here. And for this, it's row number 10. And the row number 10 will be worked in pearl Tunisian stitch. Let me show you how. So we have the loop on the hook. Insert hook around the second, but put the yarn uh, from the front to the back like this on the hook. Then keep it with your finger, insert hook around the vertical bar and leave it on the front now, under the vertical bar. Keep it here with the finger, yarn over and pull through the vertical bar. So. It's like this that we work it. Let me explain you one more time. So put the uh, loop, uh, sorry, the yarn on the hook from the front to the back like this. Then keep it with your finger, forefinger, insert hook around the vertical bar and leave it, leave the yarn under to fall under the vertical bar that you have it already on the hook. Keep it here with your finger yarn over pull through. It is easy but uh, you have to practice. That's all you know. It's all about practicing. Okay. 
And now we have the last. Don't forget about it. Work the last. And now we will go on and work all the stitches that we have here. So it's three, 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 three and three. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Eight rows. So go into the first of the three, sorry, like this with the yarn in front and just work it. One, two and three one again two and three one two and three again one two and three. Again, one, two, and three. Sorry. One, two, and three. One, so we will purling, okay? Don't forget. Two, and three and the last one two and the last one will be worked through two loops one and two as a normal Tunisian crochet okay so as a normal Tunisian crochet pull through two and work it and now we will work all our 39 so now we have it we have on the hook all 39 loops. So yarn over pull through one and yarn over pull through two to the end. So here we have them all back as at the beginning. And this is my friends, my very first triangle, which means we will just repeat from the row number 2 to the row number 10, which is this one, for 13 more times to have 14 triangles. It is not difficult. The first, maybe first two triangles will be so. Here we have it. Now, this is the shape I will try actually to show you. This is the shape that we are looking for. And we need to work from the row number 2 to the row number 10, which is this one. So, 9 rows, 13 times more. Now, you have the written instruction and you have the video of the very first triangle. So, please continue on until 14 triangles you have uh, worked. And then I will be back, I will work mine, and I will be back to show you how to finish the beret. It's so easy. If you understand this, you are just ready with, with your beret. Now, maybe now we are a little bit dizzy, but believe me, work, go on and work the second triangle and the third and you'll see that for the fourth you don't need the written instruction anymore. You just know what you have to do. So, now you will go on and work 36, you will leave again 3 outside. Then you will work 30 and you will leave out th uh, 3. Then you will work uh, 27 and you will leave out uh, 3. And then you will begin with the short rows here too, okay? So you always leave three, three, three outside. So this is the, the, um, the idea, three, three, three outside. Okay, so I will work mine uh, 13 triangles and I will be back to show you how to finish the barrel. Okay, I finished 
all around my 14. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and the last one 14. Now what I want to see is how to cast, uh, how to bind off, sorry. So to bind off, we will just chain one and insert hook around the first vertical bar and pull up a loop. Try to work large, loose and the second, insert hook around the next, pull up a loop, pull the first through the second. And this is how we bind off exactly as in a knitted project. Okay, and I go on to the end exactly like this. And then we will just sew So insert hook around the vertical bar, pull up a loop, pull the th first to the second. Okay, nice and loose. Try to work this. When you finish, cut a nice long yarn. And we are ready to work, uh, sew with the mattress stitch. I already shown you how to work it, how to actually sew with the mattress stitch and the tutorial of the scarf, but I will show you how to work now too, obvious. So we will insert hook into the first here, like this. And then here into the first and then we come up into the next and then we go into the first on the left side and we come up into the next and this is how we continue on we insert the needle where we came up first and then we come up into the next Hope you can see it. Okay, and now again we came up here, so insert hook here and then come up into the next. And now insert hook where you came up and come up into the next uh, hook, sorry, needle. And the same thing here. And we will continue on like this to the end, so insert hook into where you come up and into the next. And then into the next. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, and we can just, oops. What's going on? Okay, it was a little bit difficult at the beginning. And now I just continue on to uh, close it all. Now, just be sure you know where you come up here and where you come up here, because it's this is the most important thing to know uh, where to continue on, okay, so we just go on, to the end, I am teaching my last few stitches so just went on for almost all and that's it so actually it's pretty easy if you just
try to understand the triangle how it it is worked the construction of the triangle with the short rows and it is not difficult at all if you want something a little bit more okay involving let's say okay and this is lost and oops it's the last here I want to okay okay this is how it looks isn't it just lovely? I just adore it. Now, what I want to do, it's obvious that I want to finish here and I will show you in a minute how to finish it on the other side. Now here, if you want to, you can just work a nice uh, single crochet all around, of course, with a for 3.5 millimeters hook just to give a nice border or you can leave it as it is this is just your choice you just want to finish here and to show you how to finish this part first of all I just want to sew all On the wrong side, we are obvious. Let's sew together all like this. Okay, and now this part we can just sew it here. Okay, only on the wrong side, please. Be sure that you are so just like this so we don't want to see it okay just a little bit let's say to lose a little bit this part that remain if maybe you don't have this I have it, depends on how you work, maybe here I worked a little bit too loose, okay? So, this is what we have, now it is perfect, as you can see, we have a nice, and we just have to maybe give a uh, iron here, with steel. This is my berry, I really really adore it, I love it, it's easy, it's nice, and you have to give it a try. Uh, I will leave a survey for you and to the eye, you know, the eye cards uh, on the right side corner of the um, of the oh these are not very good. I have to do this. On the right side corner of the um, screen obvious and uh, if you want just uh, take a look and leave me the comment in the comment section below the tutorial here it is the the scarf too so we have it with the scarf i just adore it hope you enjoy thank you for watching if you want so i will leave you a survey uh, survey into the um eye cards but right side corner but now i want to um ask you if you want more uh, tunisian crochet videos i just adore tunisian crochet so uh let me just know and please subscribe so you won't miss another video of mine if you like them obvious videos on crochet tunisian crochet and sometimes from time to time uh, uh knitting um uh, for crochetters and 
See you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye.